I also want to just say that it's been wonderful being around all of my loved ones and Annette's walking group and her mailwoman, Regina. Mindy, you know, I tried to invite your side of the family, but Danny didn't know how to get in touch with them. Annette, don't pry. Maybe she's from a broken home. Guys, come on, give Mindy a break. Her parents are probably in India somewhere naming a goat after our son. Well, why don't we just see exactly what they're doing right now? What do you mean, what they're doing right now? As a surprise for Mindy and our parents, I talked to your brother Rishi and I got your parents' email address so they could join us in a video chat. What? what? Why? Oh, no. Why you you know what? Mom? They're very shy, so. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Shut the laptop. I got something to say. Guys, Morgan's here. And he has something to say. Thank you. Good. This shower is a lie. Their relationship is a lie. The father of that baby. It's one of these men behind me. Yeah, they're all here, baby. All these men. And one of them is the dad. What? You recognize any of these penises? Take them out. Morgan, what the hell's going on here? Who are all these men? And why are they all white? Because I heard this one tell Dr. Prentice that you're not the real father, and it's just some random guy that she dated. Oh, Morgan, what have you done? I used my extensive knowledge of your sexual history and the plot of Mamma Mia, and several thousand dollars of my savings to wrangle the four of your ex-boyfriends that I find the sexiest to find out which one is the father. That's right, the gang's all here. The Manhattan meat train. I give you Josh, Jamie, hey. Casey, What's up? Eric, Lee. Lee. Lee, and you're gonna take this rose and you're gonna put it in the hand of the man that knocked you up. I'm not gonna do that. I get reimbursed for the flower. Come on, man. I'm s sorry, hey, Mindy, I know it's it's been a minute since I've been all up in it, but I want to be in my son's life. I want to provide tight kicks for his little feet. No, 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 stop, stop, everyone stop. None of you guys are the father. Danny's the father, of yeah, course. Yes, no kidding I'm the father. Morgan, why would you even think that? He thinks that because my parents don't know that. What? My parents don't know that you exist. What are you talking about? Hey, uh, um, I'm so sorry. I'm confused. So I'm not the dad? Okay, good, because... I have a genetic condition that you guys would, you would find chilling. No. Can we go talk about this in private? Why don't your parents know about me? I was going to introduce you at the party, but then you never came. Well, I would have come if I knew I didn't exist. It shouldn't take that much for you to want to come meet them. I met your family because I knew it was important to you. I was excited to meet them. Yeah, I thought you thought Ma and Dot were cool. Of course they're not cool. Danny, look at those vests. They're reversible. Inside, there's birds. Danny, you couldn't meet my parents once when they're going away to India for an entire year. Do you know how many of these guys have met my folks? I went on a walking tour of Little Lily with them. Remember every single second of it, because I was high on crystal. Is that why you peed yourself? That is why I peed myself. Great. Amantis sunt amentis. Am I right? I'm sorry, was that Latin? I'm a classics professor at Columbia University. I don't even know I'm doing it. Lovers are lunatics. <laughs> I'd love to sit down and pick your brain sometime. Absolutely. You know what, Danny? I'm 34 years old. I cannot introduce my parents to yet another guy and have it not work out. Especially now when I have so much more to lose. Dr. C, do I feel bad about what I did here today? Yeah, sure I do. You should have gone meet your parents, dude. Danny, why didn't you just go? The procedure went late, okay? The party was in Boston. Ma, I had to shave, okay? You clearly didn't shave, Danny. Yeah. No. Okay, fine. You want to know why I didn't go? Here's why I didn't go. Because I was afraid that your parents were going to ask us why we weren't married. That's why I didn't go. So what's the big deal? You're going to get married eventually. I don't know if we have to. I don't know if I want to. You don't? Whew. No, I don't know. I love you, but I don't know. Uh, I, I just don't know about marriage. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let's just no, talk about don't, this. No, no, no. I don't want to. 